Why hello there, welcome back to my channel. It is of course Chelsea of She Designs Things. And in today's quick tutorial, I'm going to be sharing with you how to embed a video from your Google Drive to your Google site. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, so before we get started, let me kind of share with you what I am working on right now. So this is a part of my Lache design. So what I'm creating for this particular Google site is a member portal. I decided that I wanted to create something that would kind of complete the entire design um, by creating a member portal. So this is going to be as a part of a series of designs that go along with this particular limited release. So the limited release site is already available. I just don't have the portal available just yet, nor do I have some of the other um, content pages that I have created for this design. But I digress, let's go ahead and talk about the different types of videos that you can have on your Google site. So the first one is obviously going to be just using the embed feature. To add an embed from a YouTube video, all you'll do is go over to the insert uh, section right here and you'll scroll down until you see YouTube, which is located right here, and you're able to search and add the video from your YouTube channel or from another YouTube channel to your Google site. Now, let's say, for example, you want to add a video from your Google Drive. Obviously, the first thing you have to do is upload it to your Google Drive. Once you add a video to your Google Drive, which will look something like this, I'm going to share with you just what it looks like once you upload it. You'll then simply just click on where you have the share option and you want to click share and make sure it's shared to anyone with a link if it's going to be something that you're going to have um, being shown publicly so something that you want people to see publicly that are not a part of your own domain if you're using a workspace account if you want this to be restricted content that you're going to have like a, a paywall up beforehand you want to set it to restricted and this will allow you to just share the video with those who have paid to see the information so now that I've already set my permissions to anyone with the link, because that's the way that I want to do this and the way you're going to kind of have to do it for this next part. Well, the part after this, um, what you want to do is if you've uploaded it to your drive and you just want to just add it to your Google site, it's a really simple process. So here I already have the video. I'm just going to delete it for the sake of this video. And I'm going to double click because again, you can double click or you can um, go over to the panel and select drive, but they do the same thing. So you can select drive. It's still going to open up on the side. And now here you can either search for the video or if you know it was the recent, like last thing you added in, you want to select recent. So I'm going to select recent and then I'm going to select the actual video and then select insert. This is going to add the video into my Google site. I'm just going to resize it so that it looks a lot better and that it, you know, responds appropriately to <laughs> being inside of this frame. Uh, and very briefly, Google does have some requirements that they lay out here that allow you to store and play videos in Google Drive. Um, and then they just kind of talk more about like what you can get out of your Google Drive if you have a workspace account and kind of all that. Now, one of the requirements is the maximum playback resolution is 1920 by 1080. So this video that I created for this demo is literally just set that way automatically. All right, so here I have added it, as I said, to this section here, and I'm actually gonna move it up so that I can kind of explain the second part after. I'm gonna just share with you what it looks like here and press play and press play again. So I, have the audio <laughs> playing in my head and yeah and that's pretty much it now the video has been added there is a caveat to this part though um it is not responsive in terms of saying on a mobile device such as a tablet or on a phone if you wanted to play the video it's actually going to open up the video outside of your device now how do we stop that from happening 
One way of stopping that from happening is by using the embed feature that the video will have. So if you actually click on the video, it's going to open up in that preview section here. And if you are logged into your account, you can simply click on the three dots and select embed item. This is going to give you an iframe that has some requirements already preset inside of it. But as we know, iframes tend to have scroll bars that show up along the side. But for the sake of the video, I'll just show you what that looks like. I'm going to scroll down here, double click, embed, 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 paste, next, insert. Yeah, I've been doing this way too long. Slide over to the side just so you can see. And now I have the frame inside of here and I'm going to just scroll down just so you all can take a quick look at it. And we see the block A block. Now the block A block is not responsive. So how do we get it to be responsive and to look very much like it did up here? Well, it's a very simple process. So the first thing we're going to do is head on over to our trusty friend Google and type in responsive embed iframe. This is the first part of what we need to do. I'm going to go with the first link, which is W3 schools, and they have this how to responsive iframe. So I'm going to scroll down to where it says the aspect ratio example is 16 by nine, because that is kind of what we're working with in terms of our, you know, embed. So I'm just going to slide over to the side just to see if it's responsive and how I want it to be. And I think it pretty much is. So the only thing I'm going to do is delete the text because I don't need the text inside of the body. It's not necessary for me. And I'm just going to move this up. Now we have this link here, which is where we're going to add the link for the video right here to replace this video here. So to get the link for your video inside of Google Drive, you're first going to have to go back to uh, the page where you pasted it. Uh, you cannot use the link that you get inside of Google Drive and you can't use the link that you get whenever you're just viewing it. And I'll share with you why. So if you go over to the video and you select copy link from the drive done, and I'm going to just go over here and I'm going to embed that in this section right here. Paste run you are going to receive this error. And why are you going to receive this error? Because you're not actually viewing the video. You're not displaying the video. This link is not correct and therefore it is forbidden. <laughs> That's the simplest way of saying it. And if you think you can just come over here where you're looking at the video and copy the link from the top from the search bar. So I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to go right over here. And now I'm going to still replace this link in here paste, run, still doesn't work. So that just shows you that you can't get the link inside of here. Well, inside of those two places to place in here. So where do you get the link from? You do get the link from here, but you actually just get the link from the embed code itself. So where it says embed item and it has the preview, you're going to select the preview code. So copy, press OK. And then you're going to go back to that W3 schools um, where we have placed it and you're going to paste it in here and click run. Once you do that, you can see that it is responsive and it is quite lovely and works pretty well. If you want, you can absolutely add to remove the scroll bars just in case you are on a device that ends up having those scroll bars show up, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to copy this as it is. So copy nice and easy. Head on back over to the website and then inside of the website, I am going to, let's see, I'm going to just add a new section. I'm going to delete this one just so you can see. Double click, embed, embed code, paste, next, insert, and we see the video is right there. I'm going to resize it so just it's a little bit bigger, like just a little bit bigger. And I'm going to click view and now I'm going to see that it is right here press play and it plays while inside of my site. All right, so let's just scroll down again. I'm going to share one more time what it'll look like here on a tablet. We don't have the scroll bar, nothing crazy, and it doesn't pop out. So I'm going to do this on a large screen. It'll play inside of it. And when you just embed it directly from the Google Drive, if you just, you know, 
inside of the panel here and add it. If you're on a desktop, it will just play. It won't do the pop out. The only time it does the pop out is if you're using, um, say for example, like a, a mobile device or something to that effect. All right, so I do hope this video, while short, was helpful in helping you add a video from your Google Drive to your Google site. If you do like these videos, make sure you leave a comment down below or like this video and share it so that I know and I can continue to create videos like this in other tutorials to kind of help you get your Google site looking, you know, less like a Google site. <laughs> All right, thanks again so much for watching and of course, see ya.